This is a six week old Dutch Shepherd puppy and he looks cute at the moment but after a year of intensive training he'll be flying off to Africa to protect some of the world's most endangered animals from poachers. Rhino poaching is big business and on the front line of the fight against this horrific practice are dogs specially trained to hunt down guns, traps and even poachers themselves. And some of these powerful poacher hunters start the training here in St Clair's, West Wales, with Darren Priddle and Jackie Law. Jackie, how did all this begin? Well, both of us have um, a passion for animals and we set up our own company five years ago. And why specialise in anti-poaching dogs? Generally, we specialise in working dogs, so operational working dogs, so for police, prison, um, security, as well as, obviously, overseas contracts. Anti-poaching is something that, because we're fanatical animal lovers, is something that's very big for both of us. It escalated and to the extent of we now have eight anti-poaching dogs out in Africa. Like in police or security training, these dogs have to be taught how to bring a person safely to the ground and get used to certain noises. That training starts young, with a rag and a bottle of stones. What's this teaching him, Darren? This is teaching his prey reflex and prey response. So we're teaching him that biting at the moment is, is a fun, enjoyable, rewarding game. And obviously we're using the milk bottle to desensitise him to noises, loud noises, whilst he's biting yeah. and what that will do eventually as he gets older is desensitise him to apprehension work with things like gunfire. After a year of training, these puppies are transformed into lean, mean, anti-poaching machines. So who's this then, Darren? This is uh, Murray. She's going to a rhino and wildlife sanctuary called Amire uh -huh. um, and they are in Zimbabwe. You're going to Zimbabwe? You're going to love it. I know Zimbabwe, it's great. <laughs> You're going to have a real adventure, aren't you? Is she friendly? Yeah, she's friendly. She is, oh, as you can see, very social. She's friendly. <laughs> Don't let that friendliness fool you. Murwi is uniquely trained to face the hazards of the African bush. And that includes regular visits to the local zoo to get used to the types of animals she'll see in the wild. They are normally a little bit more reactive to the larger animals because it's not something that they would have ever seen in their entire lives. <laughs> no, not, and not generally. It's sli slightly bro. intimidating with the size of a giraffe or maybe an elephant. Yeah. But generally speaking, they're pretty good across the board. The pheromones and presents that these guys give off, um, it's good that she's naturally wary of them and she sees these as threats. I think no, Steve just went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And in the furthest paddock is the creature that's at the heart of what this is all about. Oh, that's nice. Good boy. The training is working. She's clearly relaxed around this rhino. Not in the slightest bit interested. <laughs> More interested in a bucket of carrots. <laughs> but when it's time to work, Murwi uses her biggest asset, her snout. Her incredible sense of smell will help her to track down and apprehend poachers. An extremely dangerous job. So we're talking 10 kilometre tracks a day, catching bushmeat poachers and snare poachers. Obviously, a lot of the poachers are armed. Watch your Murray, good girl. And the crucial part of her training is learning how to safely bring down a man. Here, it's a guy in a protective suit. Stay still. But in Zimbabwe, Murray. it could be a poacher. Out. Out, good girl. This is the cute little puppy that, that was giving you lots of kisses. <laughs> Watch him, Moe. Good girl. But when she realises that there's a job to be done, she's more than capable of defending her handler. Watch him now. Good girl. And we'll be following Murwi as she travels to Zimbabwe to complete her training and take part in the battle against rhino poachers. 